Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome, sweethearts. I'm Lily. For those who don't know me from my other channel, everything you need to know is in the description box below. And welcome to my new channel. And let's dive right on in, sweethearts. So we are going to do all new everything for you, Capricorns. Um, so what's coming new into your life? Uh, possibly a new boo, new buckaroonies, all the good stuff, okay? And um, when I was tapping into your energy, sorry I'm nasally, you guys, I'm getting over a cold and I have bad asthma. I'm trying not to breathe loud, but I can feel it. So my apologies. But tapping into your energy, I feel like you're working really hard on trying to achieve your goals in 2024. And I see you being very, very successful, okay? Um, I see a lot of prosperity, success, wealth, and I do see new love coming in for you as well. Um, I'm being called to tell you that I think you need to uh, develop some sort of work-life balance um, and take some time to do something that makes you happy, that makes your heart happy. You might also want to develop some sort of meditation practice to help clear your mind and your thoughts so you don't become overwhelmed because I see you doing a lot in 2024. Um, what else was I getting? I get, When I was tapping into your energy, I kept hearing Leo. So I think that you might either have a strong Leo placement or there's a significant Leo coming into your life. That could be the new love or um, by Leo season, I feel like you're going to be so happy, okay? So let's dive into the cards, my loves, and find out what the overall energy is for my beautiful Capricorns. What is going on? I just cut my bangs, so <laughs> I'm not used to this look. <laughs> Let's see here. What's going on here for Capricorns? What do my Capricorns have been coming in in 2024? Would you look at that? There's dating at the bottom of the deck, whining, dining, and romance, and we've got true gem. Valuable quality jewelry, okay. So you could have a true gem coming into your life or someone could be viewing you as a true gem. You might even get or give a gem, a rare gem to someone this year. Possibly marriage, right? Proposal. Okay, love that. Let's see what your future self um, card has for Capricorns for 2024. All new everything. What's coming towards Cap? Oh, let's see. <laughs> it's in between you guys. Okay, hold up, hold up. Where'd you go? There it is. <laughs> Would you look at this? Of course, this is your card. Dedication, just like I picked up on. Look how hard this person is working. All the paperwork. Um, staying dedicated to your goals, efforts that will reap success. Hallelujah. Let's just end that reading here. <laughs> We're done. I clearly don't need cards as I've always known, but just joking. Let's keep going. <laughs> okay. So what is your self-care card, please, for, um, Capricorns there? What is the self-care card for my Capricorns? Okay. It says... Oh, get a reading. Use divination to understand your desires and path. Okay, so maybe you're interested in getting a personal reading, either from me or someone else. I do have a special um, for 50% off until January 31st. Okay, my love. So I didn't intend to say that. It's always in the description box. But if you want that, hit me up. Okay, so let's find out what your Cosmic Oracle card is for 2024. For Capricorn Spirit, what is the Cosmic Oracle card, please? Okay. It says, give your inner critic a vacation day. <laughs> be kind to yourself. Yeah, be kind to yourself, Capricorn. You deserve all the happiness that's coming your way 
And I really feel like that word deserve. You definitely deserve it. And I hope you know that, okay? And tell yourself good things. Stop being so hard on yourself. Um, give that inner critic a vacation. And maybe you even take a vacation too. <laughs> All right, honey, because you're going to be working so hard and it is paying off. Lots of success in 2024. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the camera angle so we have more room to play with. And I have so many fun cards I uh, want to pull for you. New decks and... Um, we're going to pull also for this true gem, like characteristics of this person with initials in case you're not already with this person, okay? Since it's all new everything. So I'll see you there. All right, Capricorn. So we left off with your overall energy being true gem. And before I go any further, my stinking cold has clogged my brain and I forgot to wish you guys... Happy birthday. I sure hope you guys are still watching. And, you know, I love you guys so much. And I really, truly hope it's going to be the best year yet for you. Okay, sugars. So, let's find out. We've got True De Gem, Dedication, Get a Reading, and uh, Give Your Inner Critic a Vacation. So, let's dive in and see what the Tarot has to say. Look at this. Balance, temperance is here at the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius energy. Um, if you're in a love connection, you may be healing some sort of rifts um, with a particular person um, and being called to uh, avoid ego behaviors. Um, and then in money, there's cooperation and peace in the workplace, okay? So things in your life will be um, a lot more balanced if you allow it. Um, I see that you're working really, really hard on something. So let's dive into this. Tell me about what's coming in 2024, please, for my beautiful Capricorns. What, what, what's new coming to my beautiful Capricorns? All new, everything. What, what do they have to look? Jeez, Louise, look forward to. Okay, my apologies. I had to get those way too many cards. Sorry, guys. We can't take that. Let's try this again. Okay, here we go. What's new coming to Capricorn's life? Ten of Pentacles. Holy shiznai. <laughs> uh, Pisces had Ten of Pentacles as well. So you might um, have a strong Pisces placement or Pisces could be significant or a Virgo. Um but look at this your dedication your hard work is paying off this is the most pentacles you can um, get so this is being very dedicated to your goals and efforts will re reap re um, success here this is having family um, and uh, financial stability okay this is being able to leave a legacy for your family, if you have kids and family, if you're in that stage of life. If you're not, this is like um, where you're headed here. Um, somebody, oh, sorry guys, if you hear the garbage truck. Um, it, somebody could be getting um, an inheritance, perhaps. And also uh, Capricorn, remember how I mentioned uh, uh proposal wedding there is uh, some Capricorns out there that are going to uh, get proposed to or propose to someone which is going to lead to marriage wow stunning that could be <laughs> taking you by surprise that is definitely new <laughs> okay gorgeous love that keep going spirit please yeah look at this justice at the bottom of the deck this is uh, balancing the scales. This is Libra energy. Uh, something um, being fair, seeking fairness, seeking balance. Um, there could be a settlement that somebody's getting here. Uh, this could also represent legally getting married. Yes, for sure, for sure. What else is coming new? Coming new to my beautiful Capricorns in 2024. What do they need to see, Spirit? 
for 2024. Should we take them? Okay. Wow. You got two major arcana that just flew out. The magician came out first and the chariot. Wow. You guys have big transformation and changes coming in 2024. This is incredible. This is something you manifested that you've always, always wanted. Perhaps it's this family life situation here or the ability to be so financially stable that you can leave a legacy. Um, this is having a strong spiritual connection with someone you view as a tr true gem or vice versa. The energy could be flipped. We've got Gemini, Virgo, Cancer energy. Virgo's here twice. Um, that could be significant. Um, and you're being called to trust your intuition when it comes to uh, manifesting your pentacles here. I feel like it's going to happen quickly. Um, things are going to manifest very, very quickly for you, Capricorns. And you're, you're overcoming some sort of obstacle. Um, it could be an obstacle that you've had in a love situation. These are the two counterparts that come together that ride on the chariot, the divine feminine and the divine masculine here. Um, with money, it says don't rush, just guide in steady ways. So you could be the boss, the leader, and you're being called to guide others to um, delegate, um, which also Pisces had, which is interesting, okay? So that's what's going to create some balance in your life is the ability to you know, delegate, task, not do it, take it on all yourself because you're going to overwork yourself. And it really is about creating that work-life balance. If you know you're dealing with a Pisces or you have interest in Pisces or have a strong Pisces placement, I recommend watching their reading because it's very similar to yours. Um, now, in love, this is about self-care instead of chasing love, you know, manifesting, letting love come to you, okay? Wow, beautiful. And let's get an outcome card for 2024. I'm not going to spend too much time on the tarot because I have so many fun decks for you guys. Um, let's see, what else? What's the outcome here? What is the outcome? For my beautiful Capricorns in 2024, what do they have to look forward to here as the outcome in 2024? The Knight of Pentacles, okay? There is some sort of love offer um, or an offer, a proposal in business coming through. This could have taken a, a, a long time, but it's going to move forward quickly now, okay? 2023 was... Even though, you know, these years seem to fly by, it was a very slow year. It was a year about changes and conflicts and challenges and overcoming those. Um, because we're moving into 2024, which we're in now, which is a six, which is about balance, okay? It, things are going to speed up here uh, where things have been slow. Because the Knight of Pentacles is the best night, in my opinion, because it's... Um, it's tangible, right? And you're an earth sign. So, um, it is though the slowest night in the deck. Okay. Um, this is in love, a stable, loyal partner. Like I said, they could be another earth sign, a Virgo in particular, um, with uh, cancer or Gemini placements. Um, uh, but don't worry too much about the signs. And then with your money, uh, if you're not the boss, if you're not the one in charge, there is a promotion. Um, there is a very stable career and building wealth in your future. Big time. Big time. Yes. Love that. You are so in your earth energy, Capricorn. Of course you are. <laughs> okay, sugar. So let's get some more cards here. Um, let's see, what deck do we want to use? Let's see what this deck has. Now, this deck can have some kind of, um, I don't know, kind of like scary cards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, 
I don't know, like drastic, like, you know what I'm saying, but let's see what comes out <laughs> for uh, Capricorns. What's going on here, please, Spirit, for my beautiful Capricorns in 2024? What? What's new? Oh, honey, unconditional love. Whoop, whoop. Now, this was at the bottom of the deck for Pisces and what they didn't see coming, so... You could be connecting. That could be your true gem. This is genuine, certain love. Unconditional. Gorgeous. Moving into a marriage. Oh, and then triggers fell out. Name, car, place. This is a Ferrari, honey. <laughs> Why is this a trigger? Okay. Got it. Thank you, Spirit. So... Um, you might think that someone is after your wealth and that could trigger you, okay? You might have a lot, like a fancy car or a lot of money, perhaps. Um, you also, what I'm getting is this love situation could move quickly. And I do see that energy with the chariot. We have two cars. Now, you guys could also be getting a really new fancy car this year. Um, I don't know why that might trigger someone or it might trigger you, uh, perhaps uh, with some self-worth stuff here. I don't really see that energy. Yes, I do. Give your inner critic a vacation day. So it could be negative self-talk where you, uh, you desire a fancy car or something like that. But you may feel like you're not good enough for that. But you are. You are. You are. You are. Put, send that <laughs> stinking thinking on vacation, my loves, okay? Um, the letter U and the letter T could be significant. First, middle, last, initial. We're going to get initials for this person that's coming into your life. Oh, they just said three. Just get three. Okay. So we're going to get one more here, please, Spirit, for... My beautiful Capricorns, please. What do they need to see for 2024? Archangel Michael. Um, and then past came out right behind it. Um, so the past, looking at your history, perhaps. Maybe somebody has a strong Egyptian uh, background or this could be past life that may come up. Somebody I'm also hearing could be an architect or a designer. But look at this, Archangel Michael. And remember at the beginning of this deck, we saw Temperance, which is Archangel Michael, okay? So knowing that you're very well protected and preventing, um, prevented from harm, okay? This is divine intervention stepping in. This is divinely guided for you, okay? You deserve this and things will balance out in your life. Now, Archangel Michael is in charge of the um, twin flame dynamic. So you, you do have this true gem coming into your life. And remember, I said the counterparts ride on it. It could be a twin flame, right? Um, maybe somebody has a Ferrari or a red uh, fancy vehicle. That might be a clue. And for some reason... Something about their name, the car they drive, or the place they live could trigger you from something from your past, I just heard, okay? Um, and uh, our twin flames or soulmates can be mirrors, right? So it, it can bring out um, what still needs to be healed, right? Perhaps that's what that's about. So let's get some characteristics of this person. Fireman at the bottom of the deck. Brave, heroism, sacrifice, rescue, extinguish, okay? They could have a strong fire placement. Um, okay, tell me some characteristics of this true gem for my beautiful Capricorns, please, Spirit. What are the characteristics here? Oh, okay. Uh, we'll just take one at a time, they said. So friend. This person could be a friend of yours. This person is, with the dog hair, very loyal person. 
very loyal. So release any triggers that you have towards that. Um, they're going to make a great companion. They're going to be very supportive. And they're, you guys are going to share a lot of joy together. Beautiful. Now, so they could already be a friend of yours, right? The letter A and M are coming through. A, M, maybe their name is Amy. Or you're going to add, no, okay. No, uh, <laughs> I was going to say admire. Um, but tell me, let's see here. What, else, what other characteristics of this true gem for... Capricorns. What are the characteristics of this true gem? A chef? Ooh! They could be work in, um, uh, they could be a chef. They could work in the restaurant industry. Uh, they could be a culinary master. They could really enjoy cooking, culinary art, artistry. Um, I picked up on design members, so maybe they that's that culinary artistry. Um, it says seasoning and proficiency, okay? Wow. So, and remember, maybe you guys find joy in going out to nice restaurants or cooking with each other or something like that. Food, you guys could be foodies. <laughs> Let's get some more characteristics of this true gem for Capricorn. Oops, way too many and they didn't flip. Let's get some more characteristics of this true gem, please. Spirit for Capricorns. What else about this person? Well, that's way too many. Sorry, guys. What else about, okay. Oh, <laughs> they're going to be a genius. Genius. Um, it says, bearer of gifts, extraordinary, intelligent, innovative mind and exceptional ability. I mean, does that say true gem or what? The letter G and the letter F are coming through. Pay attention to these first, middle, last initials and we're gonna get initials right now. Let's get one more characteristic though of this true gem for Capricorns. Tell me more, okay? guys this is your lover gemini energy twice right love romance um reproduction somebody's having a baby a building a family and affinity this is like a strong soulmate bond wind flame soulmate yes you guys this is so beautiful this is so beautiful i sure hope you're enjoying this let's get some initials and we're going to pull, oh, it's snowing outside, you guys. Um, we're going to pull some uh, money cards next. Find out what's coming in your moolah. I know you you want to see that. Okay, Spirit, what is the first, middle, last initial of this person, please? We've got O, A. There's that A I picked up on. N. L, L came out for Pisces too. U, I'm hearing Lou Ann, okay. Another L, double confirmation, okay. I'm hearing Onyx. I don't know about that gemstone. I should see, I have my gemstone deck here. Let's see if we can find, why am I hearing Onyx? Let's see here, guys. Onyx. Onyx. Where are you, please? Uh, Onyx. Um, I hope I can find it. I, you might have to look it up. I know it's in here, um, but yeah, I can't find it, guys. Sorry about that. I don't want to take up too much time. Let's get some more initials. L, again, that's the third time. They might have three L's in their name, maybe. Or uh, here's T, okay. B, 
And L tried to come out again. Wow. So L was definitely in their name. First, middle, last initial. Okay. Beautiful. Let's see here. Let's get some money decks here. What is coming in money for my beautiful Capricorns in 2024? What's new with their money and finances and career? Oh, oh, geez. Oh, damage fell out. There might be a financial loss that you didn't see coming. You need to be prepared and have a contingency plan. This is not the time to take risk, okay? So that's definitely important for someone out there to know. Um, maybe if you were considering buying a really big purchase, like a fancy Ferrari car, um, maybe wait until later. And then we've got mainstream. It says, it's time to be seen and show your talent to the world. Your business is getting more... Um, the audience at this moment is getting more, it looks like they missed a word, getting more the audience at this moment. Okay, so you might have a big platform or you're launching your business is going mainstream. So wait until it's built up to this 10 of pentacles because there could be a little bit of loss here. Um, take that if that resonates. I mean, these are predictive readings, so it's not really going to resonate right away because we're just what, the beginning of January here. So what do we have? Oh, it flipped back over, it looks like. Okay, what do we have, please, Spirit, for money and career for my beautiful Capricorns? The office, okay. It says, thank you, Spirit. This is delegating. More can help you increase your earnings. Yeah, this could be you right now, Capricorn, taking on way, way, way too much, sweeties. And it's time to delegate because... That could be the damage. You could just be working too hard and not getting things done in a timely manner, which could cause financial loss. When you delegate, that's, thank you, Spirit, um, it, you'll increase your earnings, okay? Work-life balance, right? This says, secretary, staff assistant, office manager, or any job working in an office, so maybe consider hiring that. Uh, a person to help you and then think of greater good than oneself to achieve a better outcome these this font so tiny <laughs> um okay so beautiful all right and then we have business at the bottom of the deck do not be intimidated to enter the world of business you got this you got this okay loves you will go mainstream you will be financially stable but there may be a little bit of loss here. So be prepared. Um, have some savings, you know. Don't spend too much. It's just a little bit of a warning, shook shugs. Okay, so let's get your angel number, and we're going to wrap it up with some advice. What is the angel number that my beautiful Capricorns need to see, Spirit, for their reading? Ooh, oh, you got two. My goodness, okay. We got... 555, which is 51015, which breaks down to a six, honey. We are in the year of the six. And look what this says. Change. Remember, there could have been some big changes last year. That was the five. Encouragement, support, obstacles, battle, calling, reconstructing, and creative work. Okay, so this damage could have been from last year. You are going to level up. It might not feel good initially, <laughs> but it will prepare you to handle the greater things in life for your highest good. This is why you've been, this is the why. We all have our whys, right? You've been looking for. Push through it. There's a reward waiting at the finish line, and I see that for sure, for sure. Okay, thank you, Spirit. And then, new beginnings zeros, four zeros, right? Limitless potential. Reset, relaxation, unknown, surrender, finish line. Again, there's that word again, success and victory. It serves as a timely reminder that anything can be accomplished. If you can dream it, there is no reason you can't make it a reality. If something is in the possession of another person, it is also available to you. So try to remain calm. What's meant for you won't pass you by. Let go of tension and relax. 
Yes, beautiful. All right, and let's wrap it up. Please like and subscribe, angels, if you've enjoyed any part of this reading. It means the world to me. And being a new channel will help me grow. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing as well. I'd love to have you part of my tribe. And thank you for all my returning tribe members. All right, sweets. So, Spirit, what is the advice from the universe? It didn't flip. Um, oh, here we go. Thank you. In your journey, there will be times when you feel lost, confused, lonely, and angry. These are times of transition. You won't feel those emotions forever. You are transitioning to a better, stronger version of yourself. Yes. Shed away those unneeded layers like the stinking thinking, the inner critic, um, and keep growing. Wow. That's so beautiful. I'm going to get you one more for your birthday. One more piece of advice, please, Spirit, for my beautiful Capricorns and their birthday month. You already had your birthday. Hope it was fabulous. If, if it's to come, same thing, booze. It's going to be a great year for you. Okay. Wow, you got two. Love yourself more by saying no to things that feel draining and burdening for you. You could be always saying yes and taking on too much, right? Saying no when you want to say no instead of saying yes to please other people. It is a real act of self-love. Absolutely. It's something I'm learning as well, my loves, okay? When you continue to reminisce, replay, or hold on to what could have been, you continue to hold yourself in a place of resistance. Let what was inspire a new way of living, but don't allow it to limit and determine what can be right. Beautiful. All right, my sweethearts, I love you so much, and I will see you again soon. Happy New Year.